this is Taylor with Royal Gorge Anglers in Canyon City, Colorado, the only Orvis endorsed outfitter on the Arkansas River and largest fly shop on the lower Arkansas. Uh, visit us online at RoyalGorgeAnglers.com for daily fishing reports, uh, shop online, or to learn about our local watersheds. Uh, today, uh, we are in the third week of April. Uh, we are prime time blue-winged olive and caddis activity at this point in time, and uh, we have seen just phenomenal fishing thus far this spring. We look for that to continue, uh, and uh, flows are excellent right where we want them uh, as far as holding overnight water temperature uh, and maintaining good blue-winged olive activity with a small movement in caddis activity up the river day by day. Uh, we have seen at this point in time large caddis hatches in Canyon City, some significant caddis activity in Lower Bighorn Sheep Canyon accompanied by sporadic adult caddis activity at this point. This week we look to have more adult caddis hatch activity in Lower Bighorn Sheep Canyon. However, do not look for caddis activity in Upper Bighorn Sheep Canyon or in the Salida area really in the next 10 days. We don't have the water temperature up there quite yet. We've seen 60 or 55 rather to 57 degree water temperatures midday from Cotopaxi down to Parkdale. However, we see a significant water temperature drop from Valley Bridge up to Salida. So, better blueing all of activity upstream than caddis activity, but solid blueing all of activity from Valley Bridge down to Pinnacle Rock, and caddis activity will remain on the adult side from Cotopaxi down through Canyon City. We've seen good emergent caddis activity, which means there are some bugs in the pupa stage in the water column and fish keen to those. And of course, the larva stage is good all the way up to Leadville. Okay, so that's kind of our caddis report uh, for this week. We Again, we look to see good adult hatches in Lower Bighorn Sheep Canyon this week. Uh, accompanied by a continuation of excellent blueing dollar of activity, which is really more fun, in our opinion, than caddis activity. Okay, so we're going to have both intermixed hatches. You can't ask for much more. As far as bugs go, we like to nymph early on, first couple hours of the day. However, with our overnight lows near Canyon City being fairly high, uh, we have seen blueing dollar of activity from Canyon City to say Cotopaxi very early, 10, 11 o'clock, sometimes depending on conditions, overcast, warm, we have seen double hatches every day, okay? So we've seen 10, 11 o'clock blueing dollop hatch accompanied by a two or three o'clock blueing dollop hatch. In some areas, we've seen caddis hatching around the 12 to noon time period, and so you've got essentially a continuous hatch, blue-winged olives, caddis, blue-winged olives, through the day. That bodes well for dry fly activity. So, what we suggest is nymphing for the first couple hours, moving to emergent uh, patterns about 10, 11 o'clock, looking for blue-winged olive patches around that time, switching to adults if necessary, then moving into caddis emergent patterns with blueing doll of emergent patterns midday, looking for more hatches and uh, you know finishing the day with whatever's necessary based on where trout are feeding in the water column. Okay, so what we suggest um, our focuses on stoneflies up front is your nymph, okay, your deeper nymphing rig to start. 20 inches, really hard to beat, size 10 or 16. We tie ours with double tungsten. A uh, lot of yellow sallies in the water column right now. 
and smaller golden stones. Tungsten Goldie, excellent pattern. Sloan's Yellow Sally, one of our breadwinners. Really one of our breadwinners. Excellent fly. Okay. Morris's Iron Sally, excellent Yellow Sally nymph. Will fish well all day and all season for that matter. Blue winged olive nymphs. Again, this is early in the day. You can also fish it throughout the day if you don't get a lot of hatch activity. Uh, what we suggest to focus on are patterns like the glint nymph. The glint nymph is a great blue winged olive rendition, Mike Mercer's pattern, and various others. Uh, Psycho Prince is another excellent rendition. Okay, smaller Psycho Prince, really anything purple. Shot Glass Betis Purple, excellent. Um, Juju Betis Purple, excellent fly. Okay, Caddis Larva. Caddis Larva are going to be key for the next week to runoff, okay? Splat Roller, local pattern, Tungsten, size 16. Tungsten Caddis Larva. Size 16, this is Larry Kingery's brand new cast larva pattern. John Barr's uncased caddis. Excellent caddis larva rendition. Okay, size 16 again. Then, your caddis pupa, beadhead version. A little bit deeper in the water column, okay. Uh, the deep sparkle pupa, and again, these are attractors, but there are some caddis hatching. So, deep sparkle pupa, tungsten deep. Nitro Pupa, one of my particular favorites, Tungsten Bead, okay? Those are your Caddis Emergers Beadhead. We've got 20 to 30 other patterns that work extremely well. As far as subsurface to surface film to surface activity, Blue Winged Olive stage, we've got Blue Winged Olive Emergers, okay? Like the Batwing, excellent pattern. Okay, we've got um, moving into your caddis, the spotlight caddis emerger, which is kind of a new pattern, can be fished as a dry or a non-weighted emerger. We've also got the budding caddis, which is a new soft tackle, fishes really well just in the surface film during a caddis hatch or right on the surface. Moving into Blue Winged Olive Dry Flies, okay. We've got the High Vis Betas, okay. You've got your Low Water Betas, which is an awesome little CDC downwing rendition. Good to throw under a parachute caddis at this point in time in a double dry rig. You've got the BDE, good to fish on its own, easy to see, extended body Blue Winged Olive. Finally, you've got the Split Flag from Bob Quigley. Excellent fly to fish under parachute caddis or to fish on its own. Moving into parachute caddis, which can be fished as indicator flies, can be fished as egg layers, or can be fished during a caddis hatch. Clown shoes, my number one. Hard to beat. We've got the Bloom's parachute caddis. Okay. Then Hatch matching caddis, which we will see a necessity for this week. The black Durangler's caddis, okay. You've got the black foam caddis, which of course is Larry Kingry's pattern, and the local mainstay. And then you've got a CDC caddis, which is a great technical hatch matching caddis. Don't forget your streamers. Streamers are great. We've been running Olive up front. Bow River Booger is great. Gonga is great. Something big, heavy, tungsten cone up front. Running a lot of tan underneath. Tandem rig. Vanilla Booger, uh, Near Enough Sculpin, etc. Fishing is excellent right now. Get down uh, before runoff. We expect runoff to happen mid-May, you will see overnight fluctuations of low-level snowmelt that have yet to affect clarity enough to knock fishing off. We've still 
seen you know three to four feet of clarity in most locations, two to three feet in some, but very, very fishable at this point in time. And we expect that to maintain until we see high overnight lows towards Leadville near our major snowfields of Brumley and Fremont, in which case we will see runoff, actual runoff begin. Typically that doesn't happen until the second week of May through the last week of June. And with our colder temperatures and continuing snowfall, we expect that to be a little bit later, but it's mother nature. So come enjoy the Arkansas River during its prime of the spring season. Call us with any questions, 888-994-6743. There are a few days available for guided trips in the last week of April, first week of May. Give us a call. Thanks so much. Take care.